friends and welcome back to the channel and thanks for coming back to my uh, Discovery XD1 from Mobius Models from 2001 A Space Odyssey build part 2. So today we are going to uh, prime the main parts and or at least some of them. We are going to work on the antenna getting that built. I already built the module but we have to build the actual antenna and we're also going to start assembling some things now. Previously, we finished all of the storage containers, cargo containers, I mean, um, and got those all ready to go. So let's get right into the paint. Today, we're going to prime the command module, the spines, not the containers, just the spine, and the engine module. We're not going to do the engine thrusters yet. I'm going to do those later. Um, but for right now, let's get over to paint. Right, we finished priming the main parts. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, this actually came out really well. Um, I this is the first time I tried using this new primer. Um, the primer I used this time is from from Mission Models, and I have some black, and I also have a gray, 
and I'm really impressed with how they uh, how they went down on the model. Um, I cleaned the model with some alcohol first to make sure I had all the oils off and then I just used, as you can see in the video of me painting, I just used some thin coats, uh, started off really light and then uh, kind of dried it with the air from the airbrush without any paint going through it in between and then just kept layering it on and then by the after the second light light coat I just started piling on and you know what it really came out good I mean it's it's very smooth and it filled in all of my areas where I had added putty really well um, it just came out really really well I'm really impressed with this uh, this uh, primer um, this is the uh, module for the uh, antenna that I previously built and that looks really good and uh, then of course the command module which again it came out really good I'm really happy with this primer usually usually I typically just use some some good quality automotive primer uh, usually black or gray sometimes white depending on what we're painting over it um, so this was kind of a, a jump into uh, using my airbrush for primer and the airbrush I used I used my old uh, it's actually a really inexpensive one I got off of Amazon um, with a five number five needle and cap and uh, the paint just really flowed really well and the paint was also very forgiving uh, on their website it says to dilute with oh you have to use their their thinner um, and this is the part that makes this active I guess because what you do is um, you start it off with like 30 drops of the of the primer and then like six to seven drops of the thinner mix it up put it in the brush and you're ready to go and it did and it flowed out really well it covered really well and um, yeah dried really fast and I'm really happy with it so I am gonna let this primer sit for probably a couple days uh, before I do anything else to it but as you can see we're making some progress and our next step while we're letting this set is we're going to go back and build the rear of the engine module the thrusters I guess you'd call them and also the antenna and then we will start installing things start putting things together so we'll start with getting everything on the spline the way it's supposed to be and then we'll add our cargo containers to the spot to the spine and then finally I think the last thing I'm going to do is install the antenna because that looks like it's going to be kind of very delicate I'm not sure but I think the antenna will be the last thing but once we get everything on the spine uh, then we can do the engine the thrusters the antenna and then we can start you know doing the overall paint scheme I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do just the 2001 version or if I'm going to do the 2010 version in kind of a rusty orangish color um, but uh, we will see so we will be right back and I will start the assembly of the other parts
I had to do this off camera because it's just too small. Um, finally got the uh, metal etched parts on there. I actually assembled the smaller dishes, the big dish, and everything on the tree so I'd have a place to hold it. Um, nothing interferes with the fit like this, so it worked out really good. Um, with these metal parts, they're actually bent. And they give you this little piece here that you can put the metal parts on and kind of press them down to try to fit them. But I just used a pair of these, grabbed onto each one and just bent it a little bit on went to each one. And that seemed to work a lot better. Also, um, I want to say thanks to uh, Mobius. They do include some extra parts of these little uh, center arrays and also the little square metal etch parts. They only give you one of the big ones, but... Um, it was a little time consuming. It took me a little while to get it just right, but I uh, used some uh, super glue type glue to hold them in, and it came out really good. Okay, now we're going to continue building the uh, thrusters, and we're just going to put them together as they're described in the directions. They fit really well. The pieces go together really well. You just got to make sure you sand down the ends of both of these uh, because you want to get them to fit right. And when you install them, I suggest installing one on this side, one on this side, let it dry, and then one on this side, one on this side, let it dry, and then the last two pieces, and then you can kind of hold them together and let them dry, and they go together really well. So we'll continue doing that. Okay, we've got our antenna complete, we've got our engine thrusters complete, and connected to the engine module. So the next thing I'm going to do is let these dry a little bit, and then I will pre-assemble everything again so I make sure my orientations are right. And then I will be adding the uh, thruster ends onto the thrusters here. I want to make sure that's nice and dry. It is a little tricky getting those to line up. Um, the pins are not that great that they go in at the holes that they go into, but it did eventually line up and it looks really good. So we'll just keep going. Okay, here we are. We've got everything kind of assembled on the spine. We've got the engines on, the engine module. We've got the antenna mounted in the antenna module. The antenna is just sitting on there, I haven't glued it on yet. And then we have the, com the command module. And as you can see, this is as long as it's going to be. So that's a pretty good size. This is a, uh, well, it's actually a 17 inch pad. So the model is just right about 17 inches long. So pretty good size. I'm happy with it. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to start assembling the cargo units on the spine. And then once I get those all on, I will um, prime the whole unit. Um, I'm kind of debating whether to just glue everything together now and then assemble the modules or do the modules in, in stages, but I guess I'm going to have to see how they go on at the places where, I mean, this one is all one piece, but there's two pieces of the spine here. So if those will go on okay, then I'll just attach them as I go. Um, so we're making progress yay i think this is going to be it for part two of the build um so on the next build we're going to be doing it should be completely assembled in the next build and we'll start on painting 
Um, looking forward to it. Still haven't decided which way I want to go in the overall paint scheme if I want to do the 2010 version or the 2001 version. So if you have an opinion, let me know in the comments and like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. And we'll have some more stuff coming real soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.